Everybody loves the sound of a roaring V8, but which V8 sounds the best? Today, we are gonna find out. I am joined by Mark Mangini, Academy Award-winning sound designer, the dude responsible for the engine noises in Mad Max Fury Road, AKA way too qualified for this kind of video. We're gonna take a look at 10 different sounding V8s that you guys submitted and then rank them to find out once and for all, what is the best sounding V8? This is Mark, I'm James, and this is the d d d d Mark, one award winning artist to another. You got an Academy Award, I got a streamy. So, uh, who are you and what do you do? I am a sound designer. That means my job is to record, create, design all the sounds that you hear in a movie. So for example, as you mentioned in a film like Mad Max, all those vehicles, and there's hundreds of them, um, needed uh, a, a signature personality. It was my job to record and edit and fabricate each one of them to make them come alive on screen. We're gonna listen to 10 engines and talk a little bit about why it sounds that way, and then we're gonna rank them on the mono list. Cool, so you ready to jump right in? I can't wait to embarrass myself. <laughs> Burbles, solid burbles. Were you talking? <laughs> I was, just, <laughs> was, I was so commenting loud. on the burbles. <laughs> yeah, I love the burbles. <laughs> yeah. Especially that flap on the downshifts. Yeah. So, as an expert, how would you describe the sound of that V8? Well, uh, my first impression is it sounds a little um, high pitched for an American car. Very high rev. I'd say, you know, red line on this car is. 7,000 RPM. Love that that blip that you get on the downshift. So I'm digging this sound so yeah. far, liking it. Uh, the engine you just heard is from a Corvette Z06. Oh, no way. Ah, uh, great car. I'm stunned. Super fast Shocked for what and it stunned. is. Well, look, it didn't get a fail but I didn't swoon, mm -hmm. so let's just put it in the middle for now because it had some attributes that were really exciting. Right on, America, maybe. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. <laughs> wow! Now that is excitement. Man. Yeah, it sounds like I a, love that an F1 car. I love if that. you're talking to uh, a director or your team on a film, uh, and you wanted that sound, what, how would you describe that? Well, um, high RPM, rapid acceleration. It's the, it's a wine. The, the first word that comes to mind is wine. It's that you know, as you get up into the eight, nine, ten thousand RPM range, you just it's screaming. It's not roaring or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, growling like the deep V8s, the American, the old Chevys. Um, it's it's screaming, and and that there's a sort of a beautiful, um, frightening quality to that. That if I wanted to go further, I'd put like a monkey scream on top of that <laughs> at the top end, and just put it over the edge. You know? That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that is a, a Ferrari four five eight. Wow. It redlines at nine thousand RPM. Ah. One of the reasons it sounds like that is it has a flat plane crank. Higher RPMs, better acceleration, gets it going quicker. And I might add a, a good recording. Yeah. Uh, a compelling recording, right right on to whoever captured that. Lauren HD, good job, buddy. Ah. So I think I want to put that above the Corvette. I, I'm totally with you. It definitely belongs just for the sheer emotional impact yeah. that it has. It's very dramatic. Yeah, I wanted the Corvette to do better. I want, a, I want us to buy American, but <laughs> there we go. The next one, I want you to flap it. Okay. I yeah. want you to make a sound effect with it. Can you do that? Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> I want to record that. <laughs> okay, next one. Got it. Well, I, 
I'm going to go out on a limb and say decidedly American. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Decidedly contained. Uh, not a lot of drama in that sound. I found it rather dull. Uh, that was a Shelby GT350. <laughs> My sister-in-law has one of these. Does she really? Carol, is Carol cool. Shelby was a friend of hers. What? And he gave her one of the first ones off the line. What? My, I've never been more jealous of my, my sister-in-law. Sister and it just sits in her garage. <laughs> what? And they don't drive it. <laughs> Maybe because it sounds so dull. <laughs> I love this car. Gorgeous car, no Beautiful. doubt. No doubt. Like the Ferrari, it has a flat plane crank, but it, it obviously sounds way different. Um, yeah. One of those reasons is it has a different firing order, where the Ferrari goes up, down, down, up. This car goes up, down, up, down. Does it also have to adhere to different like EPA standards, for, like with a cat and the mufflers and the? They actually uh, designed the exhaust manifolds to sound more American. Ah, they, ah well, see, yeah. I'm not so stupid. <laughs> when they first developed the car, um, it sounded too European. And so Interesting. they... Uh, oh, but then go the other way. Give it mm -hmm. the balls. Give, yeah. it, give it some throat. Wanna flop? I want to Let's see if I can even get this right. Ready, one, two, three. We need we need, we need more, more magnetism. Yeah, we need magnets. Oh, I want to get like 600 pound magnets. All right. <laughs> oh, now look what I've done. This next one's Sorry. a good one. Oh, all right, ready. throaty that's pretty throaty you know what though I'm still I'm, I'm still not impressed I don't like the sound of it especially in that acceleration curve you get that flutter that does not sound even it, it, it sounds like not properly tuned to me but maybe this is a feature not a bug <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly sure <laughs> um, and I, I always discount points on deceleration you take your foot off the gas and you get too many of those I didn't feel the throat I'm still waiting for that I feel like this one all like you talk about animals like this one kind of sounds like a big cat funny you should say that bark, um, I did a I did a film decades ago called Raiders of the Lost Ark and for the, the uh, <laughs> for the truck heard of it? for the for the truck chase we added lion and tiger growls for the truck engine and if you go back and listen they are patently obvious once you know good observation <laughs> yeah. animal growls and engines yeah, a lot that's, that's of so kinship cool. and you mentioned the pops and burbles and that and uh, the Jaguar F type that is the Jaguar F type that's the FTR like now every new car has like the blah 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 on deceleration but this was like the first one that came out oh. and they kind of set that trend. Beautiful car. Yeah, they're really kind of subdued. But, but it, am I, did it sound detuned? Does it sound like maybe not in perfect working order? Uh, I think they did it on purpose, yeah. but they purposefully made the car sound broken. So where would you put this? Not a, not a huge fan. Um, above the 350, but below the Z06. The Z06 had he's, some, he's some in merits. There. He's hanging in there, but. My, my blessed countryman Enzo is <laughs> hopefully going to stay there for it's, the remainder. It's hard to beat the sound of a Ferrari V8. I'm just saying. Right. All right. Ready? Okay, sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, um, good, interesting, excitement, that, that, that sort of almost like backfire sound mm -hmm. is, is, is kind of compelling. Almost sounds like it's, ta it's like running and taking a breath between yeah. two. So it's like, <gasps> well, yeah, which makes you think about it uh -huh. for a second. And that gives it character. I, I just don't know what car I, I, I would be tracking that with. That is an AMG 4.0 bi-turbo. Bi-turbo, of Woo! course, means two of them. That is the four liter cross wow. plane V8, which replaced wow. the nationally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that wow. a lot of people were huge fans of. Right. And it's just awesome to know that that sound is coming out of that car. Hard yeah. to imagine, but Mercedes is not known, it's, that's not in their character. Yeah, it? so you like this one, where would you put yeah, it? Yeah, um, the, the poppy stuff, um, because I didn't like the tuning of the Jag, I'm gonna still put it below the Corvette, but above the F-Type because there was something snappy about it. It just felt in better tune. And I'm impressed that Mercedes is 
you know, given some rich people a, a way of announcing themselves. <laughs> you know, we just want to make the rich louder. <laughs> yes, right. All right. This is getting good. The excitement is building. Like Interesting one. and boring for me. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, you know, what I'm discovering because I'm Italian is that I like the drama. So <laughs> we we, we uh, blew <laughs> our wad with the Ferrari. So I, I, and now he's like, I mean, it's, but think of the tension no that's Ferrari. building. Yeah. Like, is he going to top the Ferrari? <laughs> this is uh, a Lexus uh, LC500. The engine was co developed by Yamaha. Was this the one you were telling me about yeah. with the, the tuning of the, the sound? Lexus and Yamaha have made engines together. Uh, a few times where the um, focus has really been on sound. I love these guys that they care about sound, that sound is part of the experience. And look, mm -hmm. I, I, this is crass, but I'm giving points just because they care about sound. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna say below the Corvette still, I'm still impressed with that Z06, but above the AMG. Uh, I've got it, I gotta give them points for that. That was incredible. It sounds dangerous. Oh man, that was that's goosebump stuff. I I have no idea what that vehicle is, um, but it had power and emotion. Didn't have the deep throaty stuff, but it had that kind of F1 kind of kind of quick acceleration mm -hmm. up to the top. Yeah, he was shifting like every yeah, second. Yeah, it you know. was fast. This was just clean ram mm -hmm. ram 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 mm -hmm. ram, and it's just. There's nothing stomping it. Yeah, this is an aerial atom. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen that on yeah. Top Gear as well. Yeah, so I'm this pretty is sure a, they did an episode. The one that famously made Jeremy Clarkson's face. Yes! <laughs> yeah. So it sounds dangerous because I think uh. it is dangerous. So that engine <clears throat> is actually two four-cylinder Suzuki motorcycle engines put together. It revs to 10,500 RPM. Where would you rank this guy? Uh, just below the Ferrari. Yeah, sorry, Came close. Me. You know, in opera, they say that uh, you always remember the Sopranos. <clears throat> you don't remember the Bassos and the Tenors. These yeah. are the Sopranos. The, yeah. the, these are the... Uh, yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be so Italian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think you're going to like this next one. All right. I think so, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, I, I, I'm going way out on a limb, and I'm going to say that's American. Yeah. That's a big American V8, mm -hmm. and it has that blappy, growly, deeper note yeah. that I just love. That is like peak V8. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. well, I didn't know that was a term. <laughs> yeah. That is a Mopar 440 cubic oh. inch. Big old block. Gorgeous. This is a 7.2 liter uh, V8. That's a beast. There's nothing really going on with it except big. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big, no cat for sure. No, and uh, yeah, that is one of the reasons that uh, it does sound like that because this is pre-emissions. Yeah. All right. So if if Ferrari, if this is the the, the soprano, the uh, operatic mm -hmm. soprano, that's um, Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> this is the, we we get to do the doppelganger. Yeah. I'm going to drop it just below the Ferrari 458 because we have to have contrast. We there's 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 a place for everything in the sonic universe, and we have to acknowledge. That, that, that ballsiness. That's a beautiful sentiment. <laughs> There's room for everything <laughs> in the Sonic universe. Right. We're switching it up a little bit with this one. Okay. Well, um, the quality of the recording notwithstanding, it, we, we didn't get sort of the, maybe the dramatics that we mm -hmm. got in some of the other recordings. It's hard to say, but it, uh, the first thing that came to mind was bee buzzing mm -hmm. on, on those, those first revs. I thought dump truck 
because <laughs> that is a diesel. Get out of town. Yeah, that is the Detroit Diesel two-stroke screaming Jimmy. I would have never guessed yeah. because on the diesel you didn't get that jaybreak sound, uh -huh. uh, and I thought I thought I would have guessed it if had I heard, I would have guessed it had I heard the jaybreak. Under load, it sounds a lot different because there's so much more pressure I've, in the cylinder. I have uh, for a movie I did called Die Hard with a Vengeance. It was number four of the <laughs> Die Hard series. Uh, the, the movie revolves around stealing gold. Sorry, spoiler alert. Stealing gold from um, the Federal Reserve, and they bring in all these big rigs mm -hmm. to steal the gold. I got to literally hang off the side of it, uh, miking the big exhaust pipes. Anyways, we had some fun with those records. Yeah, that's awesome. It still has to go at the <laughs> Yeah. But uh, it's a dump truck. Props engine. for tricking me and, <laughs> and, and yeah. throwing that in there. So this is the last one. Oh, and uh, the the... we're going to end it on with a banger. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's that scream. <laughs> yeah. That is just sheer, just yeah. bliss. It felt like there was this like turbine wine mm -hmm. or supercharger wine. I can't put my finger, or maybe it's, what do you call that big fan belt that the dragsters have on them? Boy, that, that's compelling stuff. That, that to me is, that, that, that gets the audience's uh, mm -hmm. blood bo boiling. When yeah, hear super that. dramatic. That is a supercharger. It's a twin screw supercharger found on the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 in the Dodge, Dodge Demon. Wow, God bless America. That's beautiful. Oh! So that wine that you're hearing is just actual air getting shoved through these two is it really? turbines. Yeah, that, yeah that, that, that I heard spinning like uh -huh. giant crank, something yeah, spinning yeah. around like mad. It was like a tornado yeah. warning system. Yeah. Can I hear the Ferrari one tie more breaker. time? Tiebreaker. <laughs> tie that's what We're I want. We're at the end, it is a close heat. <laughs> to hear anymore. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's just, that's artistry. That's just poetry in, in mechanics. Good on Dodge for making a, a, a screamer like that. Yeah. I'm sure Enzo is looking up from hell. Super. What? Sorry, Saint Enzo is looking down from heaven. Uh, <laughs> super proud that his legacy is being carried on uh, with the Ferrari 458. The best sounding V8 in the world. Y'all want to thank Mark for coming down here and offering his expertise. Remember, when you go to the movie theaters, don't forget to listen. And don't accept sound.